Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. You wanted to know about uh, Ishmael, right? How God rejected Ishmael. I'm going to give you some history in the Torah. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Yehoshua with Israel United in Christ. And you said what we teach is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, including the Dominicans, are the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Not descendants of the 12 princes of Ishmael, right. the 12 tribes of Israel. What are and the 12 princes of Ishmael? God, God blessed Ishmael and said that he would have 12 princes and he would be a great nation. Where is but that in the Bible? It's in the Torah. It's in Genesis chapter 17, right. I believe. So that, but book, I'm so that book right there is tampered with then. No, it's not tampered with. From the very beginning, God blessed Ishmael. But he did not give Ishmael his covenant. So what I want to do, Yusef, for you, because you subscribe to the Torah, I want to give you some history. You don't know about this part. I'm about to go over it. Paul Barnabas was not in the Torah. That's in the New Testament. Black Barnabas. Barnabas is a Greek word. There was no Greek words in the Torah. Yusuf, I need you to give me give me Ecclesiastes five and one. I need you to humble down, brother. I just need you to listen to a couple of scriptures. Ecclesiastes chapter five verse one. Then we're going over to Genesis chapter sixteen. Give me Ecclesiastes. Chapter 5, verse 1. You got that? Yes, sir. Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 1. Read. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Keep your foot, you said. What that means is just humble down and listen. You in the house of God right now. So who wrote that, Paul? Check this out. Now, and be Solomon. <laughs> this is the Old Testament, brother. King Solomon. You said, keep your foot, bro. Seal your lips, bro. Just listen. And be more ready to hear. Yusuf, I need you to be more ready to hear. Read. Than to give the sacrifice of fools. The sacrifice of a fool is somebody speaking on something that they're not educated and that they don't understand. It's not about all of that. So just hold your peace. Now go back to Genesis chapter 16. I want to give you the understanding and the history of the origin of the religion that you subscribe to. Muhammad was an Arab. All Arabs claim descent from Ishmael. So I'm going to go into the Torah, and I'm going to give you the history of Abraham's firstborn son, of his slave, Hagar, whose name was Ishmael. Give me Genesis chapter 16, verse 1. The book of Genesis chapter 16, verse 1. Now Sarah, Abraham's wife, bare him no children. So Sarah was Abraham's first wife. Right. You follow me, Yusuf? Sarah was the name of Abraham's first wife. And what did Sarah have? Keep reading. And she had a handmaid, an Egyptian. What's a handmaid, you say? Come on now. You know, tell me. That's a slave. A slave. So Sarah, Abraham's wife, had a slave named what? But you can't. Whose name was Hagar. So Abraham's wife, Sarah, had a slave named Hagar. Read. And Sarah said unto Abram, Behold, now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee. Go into my maid. So go into my slave and do what? And it may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sarah. So Abraham he hearkened to his to voice. For that though? I'm sorry? Did he not pray to Allah for that? No, he prayed to the Most High God. That's right. Which we would have referred to as but Jehovah, not Allah. Play, and he gave it to him. That's not what he prayed for. He prayed for his wife to, to get pregnant. Sarah, we're not talking about... Uh, we're talking about Hagar right now. We're not talking about Sarah. Right. Jump down to verse 11. I'm giving you the history of Ishmael. So just, just focus, pay attention. We're talking about Ishmael. Ishmael. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, uh -huh. Behold, thou art with child, uh -huh. and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. You follow me, you said? So Hagar had a child. The angel said that you're going to call this child Ishmael. Read. Because the Lord have heard thy affliction. Uh huh. And when, and we will be a wild man. And he will be a wild man. Read. 
and he will be a wild man. Uh -huh. His hand will be against every man and every man's hand against him. So the Bible prophesies even about the spirit of this child, Ishmael. He will be a wild man. Who's willing to strap C4 to their chest and blow themselves up? Right. Who? The so-called who? I won't even answer that. The Arabs, brother. The no, Arabs. Ishmael, Ishmael is a prophet, right? No, Ishmael was the son, the firstborn he's a son. He's no. A prophet and a messenger. No, he's so not a prophet. So check it. He's not a prophet, brother. Give me, give me, uh, give me Amos two and eleven. Ishmael was not a prophet. Ishmael was not a prophet. He's a messenger. He was the firstborn son of Abraham, but he was not a prophet. He's a messenger. He was not a messenger. He was none of that. What? He was the product of Abraham and Sarah's impatience. Hey, yo, I That's it. all. I'm doing it. No, bro, 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 just bro. stay for five more minutes. I need to explain Ishmael to you. You can't leave yet. You can't leave yet. I need you to understand why Ishmael wasn't a prophet and why Muhammad is not a prophet. Amos chapter 2, verse 11. You got that? Yes, sir. The book of Amos chapter 2, verse 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. So the Bible says he raised up of your sons for prophets, read. And of your young men for Nazarites. Uh -huh. It is not even thus, O you children of Israel. Children of who? Children of Israel. Children of Ishmael. Children of Israel. So the Bible says that the only prophets on this earth are the children of Israel. Yes, right. Not Ishmael, Israel. Go back to Genesis 16. Go back to Genesis chapter 16. You should have been holding that. Genesis chapter 16, and then we go into Genesis chapter 21. I need you to understand the difference between Isaac, the children, the child of Abraham's promise, and Ishmael, the, the, the product of Abraham's impatience. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 16, verse 11. Uh -huh. And the angel of the Lord sent into her. Jump to verse 15. Verse 15. And Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son name, which... Hagar bear Ishmael. So they followed the instructions of the angel. They called him Ishmael. Go over to Genesis chapter 21. Genesis chapter 21. I'm not sure what verse I want. Genesis chapter 21. I think I want verse... Where you at? Verse 9. I want you to understand what the Lord instructed Abraham to do as far as Ishmael. Read. The book of Genesis chapter 21 verse 9. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian. So who's the son of Hagar, the Egyptian? The Hagar's son was who? Ishmael. Right. Hagar's son was Ishmael. That's who we're talking about in the Torah in Genesis chapter 21. We're going to let this ignorance go ahead and drive past because all he's doing is scattering the flock of the Lord. Read verse 9 again. We're talking about Hagar's son, Ishmael. Read. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, when she had born into Abraham, mocking. So Ishmael was mocking Sarah's son. So at this point, Sarah had a son whose name was Isaac. Sarah, Abraham's wife, had a son whose name was Isaac. And Ishmael was mocking Isaac. Let's see how the Lord dealt with it. Read. Wherefore, she said unto Abraham, cast out this bond woman. So Sarah said, cast out this slave woman and who else with her? And her son. And her son, Ishmael. Cast her behind out and his oh, little hand pot. Read. For the son of this bond woman should not be with that's the heir. Now remember, remember, Abraham that's is not a Negro. Wife, Abraham is not a nigga where he's just going to leave his child on the side of the road with no type of support. It was in the, the, the Torah says Abraham paid child support. That's why we make he, that so Abraham left out Hagar and the son and left an inheritance so that they are taken care of. So that they will have no want for anything. Abraham did his part. Read. The black man today, the Dominican man today, does not take care of their responsibilities as a child of God. Abraham did. Read. For the son of his bond woman uh -huh. should not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. And this thing... Hold up. You, sir, pay close attention. The scripture in the Torah that you subscribe to says that Ishmael would not be heir to the Lord with her son. Read that again. Cast out this bond woman and her son. Uh -huh. For the son of this bond woman shall not be heir. The son of this bond woman, whose name was Ishmael, shall not be heir. What? With my son. With her son. So the covenant that started with the Most High God that came down through Abraham 
did not transfer over to Ishmael. It stayed with Isaac, with Sarah's son. Read. Even with Isaac. And the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight. So it was hard for Abraham to receive this. And what we're trying to help you understand, Yusuf, is that you are a child of Isaac. You are a direct descendant of Isaac himself. But you forsook the covenant that God gave to Abraham that transferred over to Isaac. And you said to hell with that. I'm going to worship after the no covenant receiving Ishmael that was cast out with his slave mother. That's who you're following after. Keep reading. And this thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight. It was difficult for Abraham to leave his firstborn son. Any, do you have children? I got 17 and 7 year olds, bro. Bro, your 17 year old, is that, a, is that a boy? Huh? 17 year old, is that a boy? You got two boys. Imagine you having to, you remember the feeling you had when your 17 year old was born? How, how'd you feel when your 17 year old was born, Yusef? I felt good. You felt good. So if, imagine your 17 year old grows up to like five or six. He's just now to the point of where, you know, y'all could go run around, y'all could hang out, you could take him to the amusement park, y'all could ride the rides together. And now the Lord said, nah, you got to cast him and his mother away. You're never going to see him again. Sound like the story of Yusuf, man. Bro, that, that's going to be a difficult thing for you to swallow. Re read me the next verse, read. And God said unto Abraham. Now, Yusuf, pay close attention. Sarah, Abraham's wife. No, no, no. Last verse, bro. This is the last verse. Okay, and I'm going to dab you up. I'm going to dab you up. Look, Sarah said to her husband, Abraham, cast out this slave woman and her son. And this is what... Huh? She was jealous. She was jealous, of course. Of course. Of course. That's a woman. What, what woman wouldn't? But guess what, Yusuf? Who you... Who you uh, the, the Lord responded because Abraham didn't want to listen to his wife. So what did the Lord have to do? Check this out. Let it not be grievous. Read it from the top. And God said unto Abraham. And God said unto Abraham. Let it not be grievous uh -huh. in thy sight because of the lad. Uh -huh. And because of thy bond woman. And all that Sarah has said unto thee. Hearken unto her voice. For Isaac, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. There it is right there. The mo hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to answer your question. The most high God says, listen to your wife because what? She is correct. She is correct. So the most high God told Abraham to get rid of the damn slave and her son. The most high God didn't give a damn that this child right here came out of Abraham's loins. But out of respect for the relationship that he had with Abraham, God still gave Ishmael a blessing. He gave Ishmael a blessing. But what did he not give Ishmael? The covenant. The covenant was only to the children of Israel. Right. And that's who you descend from, my brother Yusuf. You're a direct descendant of the children of Israel. Right. You must return. You must repent and come back. Give me Acts 319. So with that understanding now that you've been following after Ishmael, you understand the history in the Torah. Y'all jump, jump from New Testament to Old Testament. Because that's what the Bible tells us. Right. That's what the Bible tells us. We, we can, no, none of this stuff is, we can stick with the Old Testament. Look, look matter of fact, don't, don't even deal with the New Testament. Go to, go to Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it up. We can deal with whatever book you want. To this last verse and I got we can four. deal with whatever we want. What I was about to take you to in the New Testament is going to tell you as my brother to repent from your way of sin because you're following after Ishmael, after Muhammad, which they, they worship 360 different gods. In the Bible, yeah, it talks about Muhammad in the Bible. It, talks about it prophesies about the Muhammad in the Bible. Though. Not the name, but location. It talk, yeah, it talks about him being an Arabian in the wilderness. Right. right? And it talks about how you forsook God's covenant and you went into idolatry following the ways of the Arabian That's in the wilderness. Right. We could bring all you of this stuff up. Christmas? Hell no, I don't celebrate That's no damn right. Christmas. Right. Why? Because the Bible says don't celebrate Christmas. That's right. Abraham didn't celebrate Christmas. Jeremiah, verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 10. Yeah, you, you quoted that earlier. You quoted that earlier. But look, you, you quoting Jeremiah, you're talking about Abraham, but you still, you, still, you still strayed, my brother. you following after the child of the, of the handmaid. you following after the slave. you in a slave's doctrine. Ishmael was the child the of a slave. Now, no, you physically, <laughs> but, but spiritually, you need to return back to your rulership. Right. Yeah. The Bible says that you should be a part of a nation of kings and priests. 
But you're following after a nation of slaves and servants. Yo, man. You're following after a nation of slaves and servants. Give me, give me Psalms 19 and 7. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. This is what you got to do, you said. The law of the Lord is perfect. You got to learn how to become perfect by following the laws of the Lord. And guess who else followed the laws of the Lord? Abraham. I like your knowledge. Bro. Abraham followed the laws of the Lord. Read. Converting the soul. The Bible says that the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. You must convert from being an, an a Muslim, a follower of uh, Arabs and Muhammad and Ishmael. For, come out of that servant slave state of mind. Read. Right. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The testimonies of the Lord are sure. They're not a little iffy. They're not hypothetical. They're sure. It's a sure thing. These are facts. The Bible says that the Bible is facts. Read that last part. The testimony is what? The testimony of the Lord is sure. The, the, the scriptures say that the Bible is facts. Big facts. Major league facts that you can trust in. Read. Making wise the simple. So this brother just walked out. This, this brother thought he had wisdom. But really all he had was simplicity. He stepped up to the prophets of the Lord. He got confounded. He quoting different scriptures. Talking about the Torah. The Torah disproves the nation of Islam. Right. The Torah disproves Islam as a religion. The Torah proves that if you're following after the ways of Ishmael. The ways of the Arabian in the wilderness. Who is that Arabian in the wilderness? Muhammad. If you're following after him, you're following after a slave man's doctrine, a slave man's religion. Read. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Enlightening the eyes. This brother walked off and said, you know what? I like the knowledge that you have. Why? Because he realized that we got more knowledge than him. So for all of you people at home, that believe in Islam is destroyed. Wait. You believe in Ishmael, you're destroyed. Wait. If you believe in Ishmael, you a damn slave Wait. and you need to repent. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.